and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a shadow reflection text effect. Let us start with the type tool, I type in some text, got a shadow, when I size it up I'll hold control. Let us go to path, object to path, object ungroup and path union. Now we'll create a rectangle on top. Something around here in the lower third of the text. Now I'll select it all. And I go to path and division. Bottom half, I'll select it and I go to path and union. Same for the top half. So that's what we need as a starting point. Now let's create another rectangle. When the snapping is enabled, the defaults should be fine. It snaps right to the point where we've created the cut. Let's go to around the half to the center. Go down a little bit, maybe up to here. And go to path and object to path. Now we can use the notes tool. Click on the bottom left and then drag that while holding control to the left. It's just selected, I press control D and then I flip it horizontally with the top menu. Let me reposition that while holding control, it snaps. I shift click on both, path and union. Let me put that to the bottom so it's below the text now. Now select the bottom part of the text, then go to path, path effects and perspective envelope. Use the notes tool, zoom in and click on this node. So at the bottom left, this white node, and I put it in the corner of the rectangle. Same for the right hand side. It should snap when you've got the snapping and the snap to nodes enabled. We don't need to rectangle anymore. We can select that and delete it. And here's the snapping to notes. So that's what you need. Select the bottom part again, object, fill in stroke. We are under fill and we'll add a gradient. This is the gradient tool right here. And we reposition the handle. If you hold control, you can now size it up or down. And this is how you can create this shadow reflection effect in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.